right, chocolate maybe is one of them. We all have our favorite childhood snack foods. But now imagine having them without the artificial colors or flavors and no preservatives. Yeah, and the eye opener's Antoinette Antonio gets in the kitchen with the owner of Flower Bakery as uh, she reveals some of her secrets. Every now and then, it's nice to indulge, and we found just the person and place to help us freshen up a couple of childhood favorites. We love to take things that people grew up with and make them with real ingredients. We're starting with homemade Pop Tarts. We have some flour and also a little bit of sugar just for flavor. Butter, egg yolks, and milk round out the ingredients for the dough. So see how shaggy it is? Then smearing it out is key for the perfect pastry. All of the water that's in the butter is going to turn to steam, and then that uh, steam is going to evaporate, and that's what causes all the flakiness. You roll out the two layers of dough, drop spoonfuls of jam, cut, trim, and bake. Glaze with a simple mixture of confectioner sugar, water, and vanilla. These definitely didn't come from a box. Next up, Oreo cookies. We have some flour, and then we have some cocoa powder. In a separate bowl, melted butter, melted chocolate, egg, and sugar. Right into this bowl with all of our dry. Roll into a log, chill, slice, and bake. Then the filling, just four ingredients. Confectioner sugar, butter, milk, and salt. The best part, you know exactly what you're eating. In the kitchen, Antoinette Antonio, WCVB News Center 5. I don't know if it was a good idea to show these stories. But now we're all starving. <laughs> well, you can get the recipes and you can make your own Oreos and Pop Tarts on WCVB.com. You'll also find them on our mobile news apps. And tomorrow morning,